So hi, uh, my name is Jason Wooding and I'm on YouTube, pretty new. I had another account, not really uh, too serious about it, not even that serious now, but I do collect games. And for those on there that have seen my comments uh, under Relic at Gamer, I am a real guy, not posing as someone else. Again, Jason Wooding, that's my name. Live up in the San Juan Islands. Anyway, this is uh, this is just some of my collection. Um, it looks like a big mess because we've been moving things around today, and we are just trying to get this tiny room more usable. But till we get our 500 square foot space uh, set up, wired, and everything, so we can build a proper gaming room. Anyway, here it is. Uh, we had to move stuff out, lay stuff in here. Uh, some of the stuff's my son's, some of it's mine. Did a little mod on this Atari 2600 just for fun. And it works okay. Uh, I think the board I've got, it's not quite the best, but I'm going to change it again, try it. I might go for a heavy sixer next and then do a better job on it. Um, in television, these things here I'm redoing. Um, they had like a coating on them and I'm redoing the coating on the, on the little discs. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, just an old gaming PC my son uses for Minecraft, but currently it's just been put aside while we're moving things around. I got this TV here for some of the games we can have options to run and this is an old CRT I picked up in California, Redding, while I was down there picking up stuff to move back up here. Somebody was giving it away. Uh, it works really good. I like it. Um, it's very big, though, and extremely heavy. And hopefully in our new game room, we'll be suspending it off the wall, so in the corner. And we have a second one, slightly smaller. We're going to do the same with it, so they won't be in our way. Um, this is, uh, you know... Some modern stuff, gaming PC, uh, Xbox One X, PS4 Pro, and then the Commodore 64 I've got set up here so I can move it around if I want to play with it. Still getting it kind of dialed in. Um, and then going back over here, I picked up a really good deal on this uh, Steel Battalion controller. Paid 50 bucks on Craigslist for it. Works beautifully. Uh, don't have the box, but hey, shoot, 50 bucks, can't beat it. Uh, yeah, Liquid Molly, I don't use that on gaming stuff. Hey, there's those in television discs. And uh, let's see, up here, Microvision. If you ever seen one of these, I picked this up at Renton City Retro last year. Man, it was a cool deal. I think I paid 15 bucks for it. And somebody told me it probably won't work because liquid display, liquid crystal displays go bad in them. Well, maybe it's because it's up in Washington State, didn't get very warm, but it works perfect. And I picked up a few more games on eBay. Uh, really do enjoy it. It's fun. Now, this was something I just picked up recently, and I got a second one on eBay. But I picked this one up in, uh, I want to say it was um, near Shoreline. And it was at... Um, one of the another castle stores um, saw this thing. Couldn't believe I'd never seen one of these before, so I had to get it. Uh, of course, as you if you know anything about these, they're really hard to find the the controllers for. So um, I just lucked out. I was on eBay and somebody was selling one of these brand new in the box for a hundred bucks, and I just snatched it up. Um, yeah, I got Tempest three thousand and. Iron Soldier 3. Um, of course, they're just duplicates, but hey, I just want to play the game. Um, and then, um, yeah, that's a supercharger for my, my Atari. I got that in the same place, and it works great, and the game works good. I'll have to pick up some more, maybe get some of those, get that CD that has them all on there, and give it a shot. It's my... Another find I got at the Renton City Retro Expo. Funny thing is, yep, Milton Bradley made that, and so did 
they did on this. And the funny thing is, the same guy who designed this and this actually did them both. So it's kind of cool. I didn't realize that until I was on my way home. I was doing a little research. And I bought them both at the exact same time, which is just nuts that I'd have these two units at the same time. I really wanted one of these. Guy gave me a smoking deal on it. And it just works like a champ. Uh, that's just the old ratty box. It, it, luckily, I had the got the box. That's my son's NES. He picked up in Bellingham. Um, got a great deal on it. He's really happy with it. Um, and then here's the uh, the old Vetrix. A little dusty. Of course, we're still cleaning, getting things organized. Um, I had to go. I've had this thing forever. I just cleaned this up. It had that rubber coating on there. I had to get it all off of there, but uh, it works great. Um, yeah, we're repairing a couple old 360s for the fun of it. Got some of these original Xboxes. All three of these work great. Um, although one, two of them don't want to play the Steel Battalion game that has some rod on it. One does. So that's why I picked up a second disc, just so that I make sure I could not have any problems in the future. Um you never know when you want to have a land party. So, and moving down. So, here is, of course, you got to have a Dreamcast and got the uh, Odyssey. Found this down in Redding, California. I was down there picking up some stuff and bringing an old car back and got it for 40 bucks with a bunch of games and I just needed to fix a, a video output on it. But I did too on this. Well, kind of hard to see but i did the av mod on it and it actually came out awesome it looks really good and that yep, commodore tape player and again this is another thing i picked up in bellingham with the original box uh it's put away right now but yeah it works good play some import games on it some 1541 drives Anyway, this is just a little bit of my collection. Uh, yeah, to those, you know, that have made comments uh, about the uh, John Hancock stuff, honestly, I don't really care that much other than I think that people should have more evidence than just be constantly, you know, attacking someone. Um, yeah. I don't know enough about it, but I'd like to know more about it, but it's really not that important. What's important to me is having fun and learning more about games. That's really it in a nutshell. But yeah, if you guys want to call me Eric or call me whatever names you want to call me, I don't really even care. I'm too old to even care. But my name is Jason. That's it. Cheers.